Well, it's that time of the year. Start getting ready for winter. And we want to help you get ready the right way. Meteorologist Ben Gelber joining us now with the truth behind some of these long believed winter weather myths. Ben. Hey, Mark. Every year around this time, we eagerly wait the early winter weather forecasts from the almanacs, and we look for signs of winter in nature on nature trails and in our backyards. But are they real or just fun folklore? Uh, the short black area in the front means that we're going to have a quick cold snap at the beginning of the winter. If this makes you feel any better, the long brown stripe on the woolly bears we found suggests the heart of winter will be mild like the last two. But is this really true? There's no relationship with the weather and the color markings. The color is actually determined by when the caterpillars are hatched earlier in the season. Even more confusing, there are a half dozen varieties of these soon to be tiger moths. They see these big furry black caterpillars at the same time as the woolly bears. Not to stir up a hornet's nest, but do animals really know what's coming when they build their nests low to the ground to protect against harsh cold? They've somehow figured out, they divine that the weather's going to be bad. Is a myth, says OSU bug expert Dave Shetlar. Animals choose the height of their nest based on current conditions in the fall. What about a bumper crop of acorns and thicker shells on walnuts? They react to what's going on in the moment. They don't predict things. Trees release extra seeds every three to five years just to survive because predators will eat whatever falls to the ground. Now about those wider corn husks and animals growing thicker fur to prepare for a harsh winter? Well, not really. Again, just a reflection of the weather this fall. Meteorologist Ben Gelber, NBC4, Columbus. And burning question, Puxatawney Phil, fact, <laughs> fact or fact? Well, I grew up in Pennsylvania, <laughs> and it, it may not be the right thing to say, but more fiction, fiction? than oh. faction. No. One of those faction. Uh, <laughs> no, essentially, uh, the, the animals are, are and, and the colors, and their, their fur coats, and their behavior is, as the naturalists have told us over, again, over and over again, it just reflects the current environment. Current conditions. But we'd like to apply and have fun. We don't want to spoil the fun, and it's, it's still very interesting, but uh, recent university studies have really broken down whether they're accurate or not, and so far, none of those none species of are. All right.